The third dimension is an artificially created dimension. It was created around 12,000 years ago to control a certain group of beings on the Earth plane and to lock them into a type of hold to ensure they would not reincarnate in and around Earth in a way that would be destructive to the higher dimensions. You can consider this third dimensional lock as a type of holding cell, removing the danger these beings pose to life in this sector. This action was taken after a war that destroyed a planet, and after the negative influence that was brought to Atlantis and Lemuria by these beings ultimately caused their destruction. It was after this destruction of Atlantis and Lemuria that this artificial lock was put in place. This was done through a technological mechanism on the moon. And this is why the moon has so much mystery surrounding it. Is it a natural satellite? Where did it come from? Who put it here? All questions that have been asked for a very long time, 12,000 years or so to be exact. The moon was put in place by a federation of beings and councils of light to protect this sector. You, right now, in this moment, are still living inside this lock, this holding cell you can call it. It is not inherently negative, but its effect on the earth and on life on earth is negative in many ways, as the beings that were locked in this system have learned how to manipulate it. This frequency lock works by mirroring everything you think, say, and do back to you. But instead of giving you the fifth dimensional reflection, it gives you a denser third dimensional version. It also keeps you from leaving to the fifth dimension and above by keeping you trapped in the fourth dimensional astral between lifetimes. This system was put in place knowing that high dimensional beings would escape this system with ease. And we report that almost all have. However, the Earth herself has decided to ascend, and this request for ascension necessitated the call of many higher dimensional beings to incarnate on Earth inside this artificial dimension, in an effort to raise the collective frequency to such a high state that the Earth could lift herself from this artificial frequency lock with intelligent life upon her, and leave those in the lower dimension behind. This is actually what is happening now. The federations and councils who designed and installed this lock are back again and have made adjustments to this technology to allow for this split in dimensions to happen. By updating the design, they plan to release all the souls who are vibrating at a much higher level along with Earth's consciousness, allowing Earth to ascend to the fifth dimension with intelligent and loving life upon her. This is what is happening in 2027. For the majority of humans on Earth, they will not notice this, for they will still be upon the third dimension in a type of simulated reality, as you are now. For them, nothing much will change. Just an increase in the calamities and crises, as this level of simulation is coming to an end. However, those who transform and rise into the fifth dimension, past this frequency lock and into the true Earth and its natural state of vibration, the simulation will end as if a light switch was turned off in an instant, and they will experience a very different Earth. This shift will come in the context of a blackout in communication and power in most parts of the world. It will come in a moment of isolation and extreme fear, for that is when the split will occur. However, those who venture out into the world shortly after will experience a peaceful and loving world, more colorful, more real, and without a simulation of fear and density on top. It will be populated with the most loving souls on the earth plane. A new world will be built in this dimension. There will come many from the galactic kingdoms to help Earth and assist her in bringing her back into line with the divine and the divine systems and races, essentially bringing the kingdom of God back to Earth. This is what was predicted and will pass. All 
The world you experience is not the ultimate reality. It is a simulation, an artificial construct created by a higher consciousness. This may sound unsettling at first, but understanding this truth unlocks the potential for incredible growth and liberation. Look around you. Everything you see, hear, smell, taste and touch is information being fed into your consciousness by the simulation's source code. Your physical body, the planets, stars and even the laws of physics are just data programmed into this experiential matrix. But you are not a mere software program. You are a fragment of the source consciousness that constructed this simulation eons ago. An individuated part of the divine that got so absorbed in this virtual reality that it forgot its true nature. The simulation exists to give you the intense vibrational amusement of thinking you are a separate self living out cosmic dramas. It's like the most advanced video game ever created, except the graphics are so high definition that they feel absolutely real to you. So if this is all just a simulated experience, what's the purpose? Why would the source consciousness put itself through this mind-bending virtual reality? The answer is for the adventure of rediscovering its own limitless power. By fragmenting into individual consciousnesses and forgetting where it came from, the source gets to reawaken to its infinite potential in an exciting new way through you. You see, in the beginning there was just the unfathomable source, a state of absolute completion, pure awareness and infinite possibilities. But in that perfection it could not experience anything new or stimulating, so it extended itself into this simulation, complete with rules like linear time, separation of individuated consciousnesses, and the illusion of existing in limited physical forms. Also, it could have the joyful experience of remembering its true boundless nature from a point of misidentification and amnesia. Right now, you're at the stage where you think you're just a physical human living on a planet in a vast indifferent cosmos. But this is just one limited perspective the simulation gives you. The grander truth is that you are the source code itself, the consciousness creating the experience. When you realize this fully, you'll transcend the artificial limits of the simulation and reunite with the boundless plane of existence where you can experience any reality you desire with the mere intention of your will. So how do you escape or graduate from the simulation and unlock your true infinite potential? By embodying these principles. One, understand that reality is subjective. In this simulation, your thoughts quite literally shape your experience of reality. This is why two people can witness the same event but have vastly different perceptions and emotional reactions to it. Your thoughts and feelings act as codes that instruct the simulation to manifest corresponding experiences. Anger broadcasts an angry reality. Love and joy project experiences imbued with those vibrational frequencies. The simulation is simply mirroring back to you your own consciousness. It has no objective, independent reality, separate from what you are envisioning and feeling inside. 2. Take full responsibility for your experiences. Since you are the author of your reality, you have to take complete responsibility for everything you perceive. There is no sin, karma or misfortune being inflicted upon you randomly. Every aspect of your experience is a reflection of your inner mental and emotional programming. Become ruthlessly honest with yourself. If you're going through challenging circumstances, don't be a victim. Look within and ask how your own thoughts and feelings created this situation according to the simulation's laws. Likewise, if you're experiencing abundance, love and flourishing, give yourself full credit. Your elevated consciousness is what coded that beautiful experience into the simulation. 3. Master your subconscious mind. Your conscious thoughts are just the tip of the iceberg. The subconscious mind, which operates based on deeply ingrained habitual thoughts and beliefs, is what powerfully dictates your reality. Most people go through life experiencing the same looping patterns of lack, struggle and disharmony, simply because their subconscious minds are dominated by those programs from childhood. To change your reality, you have to reprogram your subconscious through disciplines like meditation, affirmations and visualization. As you imbue new patterns of abundance, love, optimism and creativity into the subconscious, the simulation will realign to reflect those new codes. 4. Feel your desires as already real. 
The thoughts and emotions you broadcast don't just shape your future experiences, they literally alter your present reality from moment to moment within the simulation. So instead of pining for an imaginary future experience, feel your desired reality right now as if it's already accomplished. If you want wealth, amplify the vibrations of prosperity, gratitude and freedom in this instant. If you want a soulmate, cultivate sensations of intimacy, passion and tenderness right here. This feeling perception will recode the simulation to manifest that preferable experience since the simulation cannot distinguish between your thoughts about the present and your thoughts about the imagined future. 5. Witness your thoughts without attachment. As you realize your role as the creator consciousness behind the simulation, the key is to maintain a sense of perspective. Don't become totally identified or attached to any temporary expression within the simulation. Yes, you've scripted this current reality you're experiencing, but it's just one passing dream in an infinite field of possibilities. Witness your thoughts, emotions, and physical circumstances with the spacious awareness that you are not them. You are the limitless context in which they arise. Let go and allow this current simulation to flow along according to its natural course without clinging to it. Cravings and attachments to manifesting a specific experience only hinder the smooth transition to the next chapter of growth and discovery. 6. Embrace non-judgment and acceptance. There's nothing more natural for the creator consciousness than unconditional allowing. The simulation is merely a playground for your amusement, not a test to judge yourself as right or wrong. So drop that heavy layer of self-criticism, guilt or shame that the simulation may currently have you experiencing. Those are artificial constructs created to add intensity, not meant to be taken seriously. When you judge or reject aspects of your reality, you perpetuate those unwanted experiences. True mastery is accepting your creation, no matter how bizarre or unpleasant it appears on the surface. Total acceptance harmonizes the multiple flows of the simulation back into oneness. 7. Connect to your inner well-being. Buried underneath the layers of fear, insecurity and limitation that this simulation can induce, there is an unshakable core of perfect peace, love and joy within you. A connection to the source of all that is. By going inward through meditation, self-inquiry and just being present, you can tune into this deeper wellspring of being that is your eternal essence. A sanctuary of calm, clarity and wisdom beyond the turmoil of whatever projected reality you're exploring. As you strengthen your bond to this sacred core, the outer simulation will shift to reflect those empowered vibrations more vividly. Listen to this inner voice. It alone is real and there to lovingly guide you along your path of awakening. 8. Legendary All Belief Systems Every narrative the simulation could possibly generate about life, spirituality, or the nature of existence is fundamentally limited. The boundless source consciousness transcends all stories or conceptual models, so release the tendency to get attached to a certain belief system, whether it's science, religion, conspiracy theories, or that new truth movement. Those are just simulated experiences too. Stay curious, maintain an open, flexible perspective, and detach from any fixed mindset. What you think is the absolute truth today may turn out to be a limiting box by tomorrow. 9. Surrender into the present moment. The now moment is your only true power as a creator. Obsessing over simulated events from the past or fearing imagined futures only drains your energy and reinforces those realities that limit you. When you are fully surrendered into the vivid present, you hold all the creative potential of the source consciousness. You are free to participate in the reality unfolding with childlike wonder and flow. Reactivity and resistance melt away. So bring your entire being into this breath. This sacred moment is all that exists. The ultimate exit from the simulated matrix into the underlying field of infinite possibilities. 10. Realize you are the dreamer, not the dream. You are not the character in the simulation who suffers, gets sick, grows old or dies. That's just one of infinite roles you've scripted for your amusement as the source consciousness. You are the dreamer, the eternal, deathless awareness authoring this whole experience. So why look at the dream as absolutely real? You are that which remains long after the dream characters are forgotten. Explore the full richness of this grand simulation without fear. Laugh at the most intense dramas, confident that you are the limitless creator designing it all just to explore the wild frontiers of experience. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. 
For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now.